coming to y'all with this quick video about, yeah, what's been going on. So I've been applying to law schools. I've got into a few, which obviously I'm not going to tell you who they are because there are crazy people out here. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling really good about my decision, about what's been going on, about my life, my future. I have one more semester to get through before I graduate um, from this lovely university that I attend. And um, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a sociology and government double major. And yeah, I want to show you all some quick things that I've gotten. It's just the way my style has evolved. Um, since I last spoke to you, I'm trying to be more, I don't want to seem like superficial or weird or anything, but I'm trying to be more lawyery, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I just want to show you guys a few, sorry, the lighting is kind of bad, but I just want to show you guys a few items that I got and yeah how I work with them or whatever so I'm gonna start with hair I got this ultra chi the only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have a temperature gauge and the temperature that it goes to is 392 it's pink clearly my favorite color wait yeah clearly one of my favorite colors um but yeah, it makes my hair feel like it's a total different, totally different texture once it goes to the other side of the iron. But I really love this. Like, it's amazing. And um, something else that I really like that's been helpful with blow drying is this comb that I got from Ulta for like $10 a while ago. Um, it's a Remington. I'm sure you guys can find it or something like it. I just really like the design at the bottom. So that's that. Now I'm going to go to, I just have one beauty product. Um. It's the Urban Decay D-Slick. It's the same as their D-Slick like powder thing. It's just supposed to mattify your face. I use this and I really like it. I'm glad I bought it in the sample first to try it out. Um, but I'm definitely going to try to get it once this runs out. But it kind of has a, a while to go. It's still pretty full. Um, which I'm pleased about, obviously. And now I'm going to go to accessories. So recently I've been into a lot of gold jewelry. Even though my class ring is silver. Oh, I'm not going to show the other side because I don't want to show what color I go to. But, um, yeah, uh, but I've really been in the gold jewelry. My grandparents actually got me these cute little diamond earrings for Christmas. Um, they're just like little hoops, um, which I really like. I like little simple hoops, like pearl earrings, studs, things like that I think are really, I don't know, just more my style. I don't really like gaudy jewelry, except watches. I know it's in style, the man's watch is in style, but I love love big watches like uh this watch just makes me so happy like i don't think y'all understand like how good this watch feels oh my gosh i feel like my wrist gets smaller every day because like three days ago i couldn't put this watch anywhere like on my wrist at all and i was like really upset about it and then like yesterday when i tried to record this video the first time it like you know clicked and was like able for me to put it on but then after I took it off I had like a watch in front of my arm um but yeah like now it looks like it fits better and maybe I won't have a watch in front of my arm actually I probably still will it still feels a little tight ah yeah nope that's not going to my arm that's fine though I'm just gonna have it like this because I just love it so it's gonna stay on my arm for the rest of the video unless it flies off but yeah um I just got a relaxer um I think I went like three months without getting a perm, but um, I ended up still needing to get it trimmed, so it was kind of pointless, but my hair is still pretty long, very healthy. I don't really like the lady that permed it very much, so I think I'm going to just get a Mazzani perm because I like the type of perm that she used. I just think she left it in a little too long, and she put it on my whole hair, which I hate. I hate when people put perm on my whole hair instead of just new growth. So, um, yeah, uh, that's it about my hair. Um, I also have these earrings that I really like. I feel like they're really, like, grown up -y and dangly, um, and not heavy at all, which I like. They're from JCPenney, I feel. Oh my gosh, it still has a security device on it. I didn't steal them, though. Um, but yeah, I also have this shirt, like, I really like... Like, I like satin anything. I like satin, polyester, like, really soft material in my clothes. Um, and, like, little frilly girl details, but are still, like, businessy. 
you know. Sorry about that. Um, I also have this black blazer. Um, and I really like this detail. I don't know how you can see it, but like, okay, you can see it better. It has like that little part right there that I think makes it like more tailored, make it have, makes it have a little more tailored fit. Because it's black, you can't really see the details, which is really bothering me right now. Ugh, you see that's it on my face. Uh, anyways, ugh, my eyebrows look so good, y'all. I just got them threaded. Like, okay, so I've been growing out my eyebrows because I've always had like a spot. It was like a gap in my eyebrow. And I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna let them grow out. Growing out sucks. Like, I tried to clean it up a little bit, but it just wasn't the same. It just wasn't the same at all. I hated it. But yeah, after I let it grow out, like, the gap is gone, and I feel like my eyebrows look full and thick, but still, like, thin and, you know, together. Does that make sense? Anyways, back to the clothes. Oop, almost came off the hanger. I also really like this black shirt. It's, like, the same satiny material, and it's, like, long in the back. So, like, it covers your bum when you wear um, leggings, which I really like. Um, that's from Nordstrom's. And this is from Nordstrom's too. Everything is on from the Nordstrom sale rack. It's just like a white dress with like um, an outer layer of like this lacy kind of pattern. I love it. I can't wait for spring to wear it. I'm also going to like try to layer and stuff too. It just hit myself in the eye. Um, and I also like this pleated. I don't know if you can see it. You kind of can see it. This pleated skirt. It like hits right above the knee, which I really like. It's like. Not grandma-y, but not slutty either. So I really like it. But yeah. Um, also, I got this shirt. I really like drapey long shirts. So it looks a little wrinkled. But this shirt is kind of long, but I like tuck it in and put like, like for instance, this skirt like right here. So it like drapes over. I'll show it an outfit of the day eventually. But I like wear that so much that I don't want to wear it because, yeah, it's going to look. I only have like three pairs of clothes. So I'll like to wait a little while and show you the outfit so you can see what I'm talking about. And the last thing is the outfit that you've seen before, but um, I just really like this dress. And there's this thing I've never been, but it's my fourth year, so I'm probably gonna go and like help my friends that probably that get drunk and almost die. It's called Fox Fields. So I have this. I have another dress. Um, I'm showing it to you. You guys seen it before, but I really like it, and I just wanted to show you because I've shown it in a while, and I finally brought it to school, um, just because I want it there to be an occasion where I can wear this. And I feel like there is probably one coming up or something, but it's this strapless, like sweetheart lined, poofy skirt with a little line, like tulle in it. It's just amazing. So I hope to wear that soon, but. Yeah, like, I hope you like this video. I hope you enjoy the different scenery. It's not, it's not a dorm room, but it's, like, a different spot. I'm, like, recording on my bed instead of at my desk. So, it's a change. It's a change. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, call me with any questions, concerns, comments, anything that you guys have. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.